Chang himself, of course, the world title holder at middle, heavy middleweight champion, Mark Rocco, Rollerball Rocco from Manchester at 13-7. Nothing weight-wise, just two pounds difference. Arguing with the crowd already. Well, now, ladies and gentlemen, this contest, which is made over eight rounds of three minutes each, will be decided by just the one fall or one submission or one knockout. Now, ladies and gentlemen, out of the blue corner, will you welcome the flying Scotsman, Frank Chick Howard. And now, ladies and gentlemen, from the red corner, of course, it's the maniac, Rollerball Rocco! And your referee, Mr. Frank Casey. Clash of the champions coming up now with Frank Casey taking this one on too. And as it happens to be a two-fall contest. Eight three-minute rounds, two falls, two submissions or a knockout to decide this winner. Frank Chick Cullen. Scotland, Mark Rollerball Rocco, England. The clash of the champions, both title holders, Cullen, the heavy middleweight champion of Great Britain, and Mark Rocco, the heavy middleweight champion of the world. Seconds away, round one. Frank Casey in charge. And the striped gear, the, all the stars in the front, Mark Rocco with the black hair, they're both jazzed up with their gear. It's going to be <laughs> a bit tricky to distinguish here, except for the blonde hair of Frank Cullen. Over eight three-minute rounds, remember, two falls, two submissions, or a knockout inside the way. <laughs> Frank Cullen with his very black knee protectors and help us uh, full Nelson Rocco suplex on its way, no. Thought about it, decided against it. Back hammer on now to Cullen. No, he didn't fool him. He he got fooled himself off the ropes there. Cullen doing pretty well so far, if he can keep it up. if Frank uh, Cullen, the Scots fellow, can uh, get a good decision here this afternoon. He might persuade the promoters to have a crack at Mark Rocker's world title. That's what he's after. Rocker really hasn't started yet. When he gets going, he's, oh, he gives an awful lot of punishment out. on shoulder check just half a minute left now in this first round of eight no 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 what frank casey of liverpool the referee here Well, ladies and gentlemen, two things. First of all, your referee has awarded the first public warning to Rollerball Rocco. And secondly, 
I've been asked to point out that this match, in fact, is the best two out of three pinfalls or submissions or the one knockout. Seconds away, round three. Very surprised that only one public boarding has been dished out to Rocco in the interval after round one. I think there's some more coming. This hair pulling continues. Looks as though it was a clench fist, but may easily have been the heel of the hand. Sort of semi power driver as Rocco took him down. Missed with his knees, and he got another week now. For his pants. Back to the forehead. Step over toe hole without really completing the step over. Toe to break. Cullen breaks. Hands. Useful little move that of Collins. First really hard posting of the bout. But Collins came in a little bit too close to follow it up. And there, oh, where's that knee guillotine again, which didn't work because Collins spotted it a man. Side of the forearm, legal, he came off the ropes, but there's that grab of the hair again. Both men are doing it. Took the pile driver all right, but didn't follow the cross press. There's the special rocker somersault backdrop. This time he brings him right in, follows up with a cross press. Two, three, he's got it. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the opening fall of the contest, and it's in favour of Rollerball Rocco. Here's the replay of that one. You see how the speed he got over, even in slow motion. Very, very quickly on that cross press. It took him just under two minutes into round three. Round four, any second now. Seconds away, round four. Now, can the Scotsman come back into this? Frank Chick Cullen, can he come back with the remaining five rounds to go and equalize Rocco's fall in the third? Remember, Mark Rocco has one public warning against him. He's got a, a weakened Cullen here at the moment, or Cullen maybe laying that on. Give himself a better chance at a counter. Yeah. Oh, no, Rocco is too cocksure of walking away from that posting. Walks straight into the drop kick. Nice whip, lovely whip. Rocco took him beautifully with the drop kick again, lands well. Tackle attempt and he missed it. Colin coming back now with a possibility. He's got it. In the following round. So one minute, ten seconds into round four. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the fourth round, and that's an equalizer to the flying Scott, Chick Cullen. We see it again. Very fast move. Off the ropes. Frank Cullen rolls flat on his face. Waits for Rocco to come. Follows the cross press. Grabs the leg. And Rocco, no chance. Round five. Second away. Round five. 
at least by halfway through the bout. The score one four each. Rockwell versus Cullen. One punch warning against Rockwell there. The black hair there on the left. And four rounds to go. Referee Frank Casey doesn't interfere too much with his part. Both these men really well traveled, of course. USA, Japan, Africa, Arabia, all over the place they've been. Rockwell's speciality, the pile driver, which we've seen a couple of times. And Cullen's speciality, the drop kick, which we've also seen two or three times in the box. Still Cullen, at least holding his arm. Makes that instep fully in use. The follow-up, very, very dicey that. And Frank Casey thinks so too. The man was down on his knees. Well, that's the referee's second and final public warning against Raul Rocco. So Rocco has his two public warnings. And of course the second is the final one. It's the suplex, Cullen, over the top, cross press, this is how he got the equalizing fall, but not this time. Watch him with that all right. And again. from on the top and Rocco helps him out goes down with him oh what a back weakener that must be I think both of them are in trouble there just a question whether both of them will beat the count well, Rocco really lifted him up by the hair there's the pile drive that could finish it though Colin looks really in trouble now Mark Rocco coming from the top rope and the back elbow goes in on the guillotine spot in the neck Half a minute to go in round five. Uh, oh, dangerous. It's a folding press from the side, and it's no chance of this one. Cullen is really in trouble. Two minutes, 40 seconds of round five. Rocco wins it two to one. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the deciding fall, and of course, the verdict to roll a ball rock